you guys, it's Amaya and welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how I started my own brand. Um, it's called DNA, make sure you check it out. It's always in the description box down below. Okay, so basically um, I design t-shirts, hoodies, things of that nature. I want to go into like more broad designing, but as of right now, I'm in high school and I have a lot of other stuff to do. So I would just stick with the t-shirts and stuff like that until I branch off into my own world. But yeah, so I design t-shirts. A lot of people get confused when I say that I design t-shirts, but I say that as in like I design my own designs and I make the t-shirts. So yeah, that's just a little bit about my business. Make sure that you follow my business, the original dot DNA on Instagram, and you can find my Twitter handle on there. Um, but right now I just want to jump into the video on how you can start your own t-shirt brand. While we're starting your own business you want to think about like what you want your business to be basically because you can't just start a business and not have like a name behind it or a purpose behind it because then you're not going to be consistent you're not going to get things done basically what you need to do is you need to think about what you want the name of your brand to be i just kind of thought about dna as soon as i started thinking about it but like you know um when you start looking for names and stuff think about things that inspire you things that you think heavily about you know what i'm saying definitely consult god on that as well if you're religious that's what i did and i got the name the original dna it's really dna but i had to add the original in there you know like copyright purposes and stuff like that so the purpose of your brand or your business is basically just kind of like a motto behind it so basically my purpose with DNA is to be who you are and that's what you can see it on my Instagram account, you can see that on my website, that is our motto, um, it is be who you are, basically you know DNA is who you are on the inside, it makes, it makes up a person, so yeah that's kind of where I got my inspiration from. And I'm going to be referencing back to my business a lot in this video just to like help you guys think about some things that will go with your business. You also need to think about branding, which I'm going to talk about in a little later on. So branding is like what you basically want your, how you basically want your brand to be perceived. What kind of people do you cater to? And that's basically kind of, that's also identifying an audience that you're going to be selling to. Um, so it's like basically just kind of like, branding is kind of like making sure that everything fits the audience that you're trying to sell to. So basically when identifying an audience, um, I know for my audience is definitely going to be teenagers. Um, you can make it more specific if you want. Um, it's definitely going to be teenagers. Um, teenagers going on to 30 years old. I try to make it as broad as I can, but that's kind of like the market frame. Uh, of course, anybody can buy your items, but just make sure that when you're doing legal things and stuff like that, you want to make sure that you identify an audience so that if you ask for a loan or, you know what I'm saying, if, you know what I'm saying? So if somebody wants to deal with you on legal terms, then they'll know that you have your business set up, you know, what, what you have an idea of what you want to do with your business. So since we're talking about t-shirt businesses in general, we definitely have to talk about design. So basically, um, one of the first things you want to think about concerning design is how are you going to design? What I use to design is I use, I'm sorry if I'm moving around a lot, but what I use for designing is I use Adobe Illustrator. Yes, Adobe Illustrator is not free. Yes, Adobe Illustrator will run you about a good $20 or more each month, but it's definitely worth it. It is like top notch. I really don't know any other design program that people use. You're definitely not getting scammed, but you definitely have to kind of, if you don't want to use money to take a class, you definitely have to ask people you know about how it works. How I did it was, I talked to my aunt. So I talked to her and she like does a lot of graphic design and stuff. So I talked to her about like how to use Adobe. I also go on YouTube and like look at Pinterest and stuff like that to like look at little ways, you know, to make your designs better. You get Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator should run, if you're a student, 
you have to ask your school because I sign I just signed up without asking my school about you know if they have any free if they have it for free like where I could just get on my home computer for free. I believe if you don't if you just sign up with your student email it's gonna be about a good twenty dollars each month. But make sure you definitely contact like your computer teacher at your school or whatever and ask them if you can get it for free or you know with your student email and things of that nature and that should your student email like the whole student discount thing should work if you're a high school student or middle school or whatever or if you're in college also with design you want to think about your logo your brand colors of course with dna everybody knows the simple double helix the structure of dna you know science stuff but yeah, so that's what I based my logo off of. I put primary colors in there and then I added in blue. What's that a primary color? I added in green. So the primary colors are red, yellow, blue, and then I added in green. But basically I focused on the primary colors because, because the whole brand is basically about being who you are, being true to yourself. And primary colors are colors that can't be changed. They're all like the base for all other colors. Um, and I just added in green in there to make it look nice. You know, you gotta think about that type of stuff for like a while or whenever you get to it. It's not gonna come to you immediately like that. So you have to make sure that you have everything laid out great before you even like post your business out there or anything. So you can make sure that everything is top notch and everything is to your liking. You might be wondering, okay, Zamaya, how do you make these clothes or you know, and how do you ship them and things of that nature. It is really, really, really easy. So the thing that I use to print my clothes and ship my clothes is called Printful, um, printful.com. Make sure, whoa, before you type that in, make sure that you go down in my description because I am a Printful affiliate. Make sure you go down in my description and click on the Printful affiliate link. I'll have it, it'll be, you'll know what it is. It wouldn't, I don't think it's gonna take you to anywhere special it's just going to take you to the sign up page and you just do all that. So you don't have to deal with like me after that. You just click on the link in my description. Make sure you click on the link in my description. Printful is a drop shipping service. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. So when you sign up for Printful using my link, So what you do with Printful is you make your store on there, you integrate it with your website, and then you're gonna be able to add products to your store off of Printful and it'll just be automatically sent to your website in like the little product page. All right, so I just got interrupted, but I don't know where I left off. So hopefully I touched on everything about Printful. And Printful is pretty easy, so you won't need to. My step five would just be to make sure that you're consistent in business, make sure that you're always looking for opportunities um, to grow, make sure that you're sending out product to different social media influencers. Um, once I get good at marketing, I'll make a whole video about it because I know I needed it for myself when I was looking for stuff. Just make sure that you're consistent really and that's how your business is gonna grow. Make sure that you post at least daily when you're first starting out. Okay, so yeah guys, that's how I started my business. I'm gonna come out with way more videos on like starting businesses and managing a business and stuff like that. So make sure that you comment some ideas down below, comment some questions down below. Maybe I could do a business Q&A just in case this video wasn't enough, which it probably wasn't. Follow my business and whenever you start your business, make sure you put it down in the comments so that I can follow you guys back. Make sure you, if you see this video and you know somebody who wants to start a t-shirt business or anything like that, make sure you send them this video. Um, hopefully this video was really helpful to you guys. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on my social media. They'll be down below in the description box.